I didn't realize that um, you know the growth is never a linear curve. It's always you know up and down. There's always going to be a time when you have to do it because ultimately you have ten events, but you only have six days in a week if you take one day off, right? So you don't want to overdo it. At the same time, you want to make sure that you touch everything to the point where it's enough and not overkill. तो दी अदर डे समबडी आस्क मी यार आपने 10 इवेंट में क्यों आए एक ही कर लेते 10 मेडल तो मिलते नहीं है आपको ये बात तो ठीक है कि वो इतनी मेहनत कर रहा हूं मैं 10 इवेंट करने के लिए बट देन आई गेस टू सम इट अप इट्स जस्ट द फीलिंग ऑफ सेटिस्फैक्शन दैट यू गेट आफ्टर लाइक मिहिर जी करेक्टली सेड दैट द लास्ट इवेंट इन द डिकैथलॉन इज द 1500 वंस यू रन द 1500 इफ यू यू कुड हैव हैड द वर्स्ट डिकैथलॉन ऑफ योर लाइफ बट यू फील सेटिस्फाइड दैट ओके आई कुडंट हैव डन एनीथिंग बेटर in the last two days so that feeling of satisfaction i think is paramount and that's why everybody who does the decathlon does it when i went to the us for academics as well as sports back in 2017 or I, i believe in 2016 was the first time i jumped 2 meters in 26 which was the national record at that time in the high jump so since that year in till 2023 even this year so every uh, every year i've jumped over 225 multiple times without getting that elusive 230 meter barrier which abhi to puri duniya neeraj ke piche padegi bhai 90 meter cup karoge mere piche main akela hi pad raha tha ki 230 cup ho gaya and i was still feeling the heat and the pressure of jumping 2 meters and 30 at that point i didn't realize that um, you know the growth is never a linear curve it's always you know up and down there's always going to be a time when you have to do it when things might click and it happens but then you still have to do your training you still have to go through the process so your focus should be on the process but at that time my focus was how and when will i jump 2 meters and 30 cm so in my first year i jumped i came very close i jumped 2 meters and 29 my second year in university i jumped over 225 multiple times got to 227 knocked on the door those of 230 multiple times but never cleared the bar so uh, the the coach's perspective was at the end of the season he's like you know you will jump it eventually don't worry about don't make that the monkey on your back that hey you have to jump 2 meters and 30 it will eventually happen but then i started you know didn't enjoy training as much because i just felt like i had so much energy didn't know where to use it and then he said okay you know what if you feel like you're not training at a high level we can do multiple events in order to channel your energy properly and then eventually we can come back into the high jump because that's all going to help you in the high jump and that's how i started doing individual events and eventually it all clicked and um i i didn't know sooner or later i just drifted away from the high jump knowing that whenever i come back if i took a three if i took a three week break from the high jump i still ended up jumping to 25 if i took a one month break from the high jump i'd still come back and jump to 25 so i i felt like okay 225 is never going to leave me so i might eventually go and you know explore out and then come back so that's how my journey into the multiple events started and then in my last year in university i realized that okay i want to do multiple things i think that's where my passion lies and then i just drifted away from the high jump into the multiple events when i used to go for a for a high jump competition the only thing i would be worried about was i need my pair of spikes i need my shorts jo bhi clothing us din pehen raha i need my bib number on top of that in the decathlon you have 10 different spikes right you're in the field for two days so you have to make sure that i carry i personally carry stuff to fuel myself during the competition so protein bars and you know things that i can eat in the middle of the competition make sure i carry every decathlete has a okay then a totka hota hai so every decathlete has a totka to avoid cramping because cramping is the biggest problem that everybody faces during the decathlon because you're there for two days in whatever kind of weather condition you'll have at that point so i carry pickle juice kai log hote hain pickle juice ke shot hote hain usko we just have to drink it chug it because it's highly concentrated in sodium so the idea is ki sodium hoga to then you know you'll stop cramping i carry mustard dijon mustard with me raw mustard ko event ke beech mein khata hu taki i i don't cramp there's no scientific study behind it is all passed along over generation ke ye hoga to isse cramping nahi hogi wo hoga to isse cramping nahi hogi science kisi ko nahi pata kisse hogi nahi hogi lekin rule ye matlab discuss mein aise hota hai my coach one day is a funny story so before uh, my in my first decathlon after day one i'm a heavy cramp i cramp a lot so after day one i was starting to feel my cramping you know pick up again so 
कोच ने बोला कि एक काम करो रात को जो होता है ना कि सोप जो होता है जो नहाने का सोप होता है उसको हाथ पैर में लगा के टाइट्स पहन के सो जाओ बिना धोए सो आई लाइक वेल व्हाट्स द साइंस बिहाइंड इट तो उसने बोला कि नहीं उसमें बाईकार्बोनेट होता है तो इसीलिए वो बेसिक होता है तो उससे एकदम एक क्रैम्प नहीं आएगा तो मैं उस दिन रात को पूरा लगा के सोया एंड आई डेंट गेट अ क्रैम्प सो वॉट डिड आई डू फ्रॉम देन ऑन आई बिन पुटिंग सोप ऑन मी एवरी टाइम आई डू डी कैथ ऑन आफ्टर डे वन आई मेक श्योर आई सोप माई सेल्फ विदाउट वॉशिंग एंड आई गो टू बेड अब हो गया तो फिर वो करना है ना उसको अदरवाइज अगली बार क्रैम्प हो तो वो मुझे बोलेगा कि तुमने सोप लगाया नहीं लगाया सो आई डोंट नो इफ इट्स प्लसीबो और नॉट बट इफ इट इज दैन आई एम गोन हैव टू डू इट सो दैट आई डोंट क्रैम्प तो ऐसे ऐसे सबके अलग अलग वो होते हैं सो द सो मनी थिंग्स दट वी कैरी जैवलिन हो गए डिस्कस हो गया यू हैव टू कैरी अर ओन शॉर्ट बट पोल्स ऑफ कॉज आर वेरी इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक टू ईच ह्यूमन बींग सो दस जस्ट सो मनी थिंग्स दट यू हैव टू कैरी सो द प्लानिंग फॉर द डिकैथलॉन स्टार्ट्स वे बिफोर द एक्चुअल डिकैथलॉन एटलीस्ट फाइव सिक्स डेज प्रायर यू हैव टू सूट केसेज यू हैव योर पोल्स सो लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स वी कैरी यू ना बैग वेन एवर वी ट्रेन फॉर द डिकैथलॉन वेन आई लाइक टू लुक एट द डिकैथलॉन फ्राम अ वेरी यू नो मैक्रो परस्पेक्टिव वट आई थिंक ऑफ इज there's a, there's this thing there's this philosophy called the three c's of combined events the three c's entail you have this thing called commonalities you have this thing called compatibility and then you have this thing called um complementaries so commonality in training or i guess commonality in events is let's say for example in the all, in all three throws you have the discus you have the javelin and you have the shot put in all three throws some might someone might glide in the short put everybody turns in the discus everybody runs and throws a javelin but then the power position right before the throw is very same is 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 exactly the same in all three throws so that's the common aspect of the throws that we train doesn't matter what implement you have in your hand you have to have that awareness of okay i have 60% of my body weight in my right leg which is my leg that's going to produce the throw and then the block leg is my left leg irrespective of throw that has to be that proportion has to be maintained you have to think of it that way next step is we look at compatibility in training so compatibility is what events or you know what things go with each other so for example um you'd never do let's say for example you take a day off on sunday right from a training perspective you'll never do a tempo running session on monday because you want to do something that's more neuromuscularly taxing you want to do a sprint activity you want to do something that takes a lot of your um you know a lot of body awareness like high jump or pole vault that might be something that, that you might do first on that given day because it's technically demanding or sprints for example that's physically demanding a tempo running session you can do at the end of the day because just like the 1500 you're going to be fatigued with the week's training load and then you do it at the end of the week just to you know get through it so that's uh and then finally um if you look at the you know the complementary aspect of training you look at events that are very similar to each other so let's say for example the hurdles and the long jump are very similar because the last three steps in the hurdles is very similar to the last three steps in the long jump so those are some things that we look at before training to like put together events because ultimately you have 10 events but you only have 6 days in a week if you take one day off right so you don't want to overdo it at the same time you want to make sure that you touch everything to the point where it's enough and not overkill the way i like to look at it is um you don't really need 10 coaches for 10 events because ultimately the architect has to be one there's only going to be one coach who knows or who's going to plan out when to do what and in how much proportion which is the prescription of workout there's only one coach who's going to tell you when to do what and how much there's going to be individual coaches for individual events who have their own specialties who might help you with um you know looking at your technique and be like okay this is not something that you could do or aap aise kar sakte ho waise kar sakte ho but then there's only going to be one coach which i have who helps me with the planning of the workout to tell me okay aaj se agar 3 mahine mein asian games hai so what do i need to do tomorrow or in one week so that you know we are on the same page everybody is on the same page then there's individual coaches who can help that being said again going back to my 3 c's of combined events something like a 100 can be paired very easily with the long jump approach run which can be paired very easily with the 400 meters so what we do is we never train really ex- extensively for the 100 but for the 400 because the 400 covers the 100 and the long jump approach drill that we do because we don't jump in every practice right so when we do long jump approaches that covers the 100 meter as well as well as the 110 meter hurdles jab aap 110 meters ke start karte ho that's very for me it's the exact same as the 100 meter start so i don't really have to spend a lot of time training for the 100 that's how we eliminate 
इवेंट्स सो टू से दैट वी डोंट रियली ट्रेन फॉर ताकि जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल अनदर गुड एग्जाम्पल इज द फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड आई नवर ट्रेन फॉर द फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एंड लॉट ऑफ द डिकैथ इज आई टॉक टू दे नवर ट्रेन फॉर द फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड बिकॉज इफ़ यू लुक एट इट साइंटिफिकली अगर आप एक स्पेक्ट्रम लें उसमें वन वन एंड ऑफ इट इज टाइप वन टाइप ए फाइबर्स फाइबर्ड एथलीट्स विच आर मैराथन रनर्स अदर एंड इज टाइप टू फाइबर्ड एथलीट्स विच इज समबड़ी लाइक यू सीन बोल्ट हुज वेरी एक्सप्लोजिव सो इफ नाइन इवेंट्स इन द डिकैथलॉन इज एक्सप्लोजिव एंड टूवर्ड्स द टाइप टू दैन वाई वुड यू ट्रेन दैट वन इवेंट एंड ब्रिंग योर सेल्फ इन द मिडल ऑफ द स्पेक्ट्रम जहाँ पे आपकी बाकी नौ भी खराब हो रहे हैं सो द फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड इज ऑल अबाउट विंगिंग इट यू जस्ट वॉन्ट गेट थ्रू इट but then you still have the other nine that you really have to worry about so that's how we branch events and break those up so that we don't have to worry about 10 but i guess 6 or 7 individually so that it all combines together and then ultimately it's all about putting those 10 together when it matters so we don't really train for all 10 every week sri shankar se jo mere bahut acche dost hain unse maine bhi long jump ke bare mein itna pucha nahi hai kyunki wo उनका टेक्निक भी अलग है और उनका सब कुछ अलग है मेरा बहुत सिंपल है आई जस्ट जंप टेक ऑफ एंड सेल ही डज अ लॉट ऑफ हिच केकिंग एंड ऑल दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग डेफिनेटली थिंक आई कैन पिक अ थिंग और टू बट आई लव वाचिंग हिज वीडियोस अभी जो इंटरस्टेट में उनकी वीडियो थी वो भी देख के मेरी बहन ने यही बोला था कि भैया आपकी जम तो इतनी छोटी सी लगती है उसको देखो उड़ रहा है हवा में वैसे कुछ नहीं कर सकते क्या मैं कहा चलो करूँगा एक दिन होगा तो सो या आई लव वॉचिंग द लॉन्ग जम्प इज वेल High jump is definitely my stronger event, one of my stronger events, and um, I mean you still have to train for it, right? So, uh, but from a decathlon perspective, there's also strategy that goes behind the high jump, especially for someone like me, because let's say for there's two scenarios. One is a scenario like the interstate where you had you know three hours of or whatever four hours of break after the short put before the high jump, which is how championship meets are held. चैम्पियनशिप मीट्स में एक मॉर्निंग सेशन होता है एक इवनिंग सेशन होता है जहाँ पे टीवी दिखता है मॉर्निंग सेशन में कोई नहीं देखता आपको तो फिर हीट्स होते हैं वहाँ पे तो ऐसे करके होता है बट इन यू नो बैक यार्ड डिकैथलॉन्स लाइक वट आर इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स वहाँ पे आपके पाँचों इवेंट आधे आधे घंटे के गैप में वो लोग साथ में चलाते रहते हैं सो दो सर टू सिनारियोज लेट्स से फॉर एग्जाम्पल समथिंग लाइक द इंटर स्टेट आई हैव थ्री फोर आवर्स टू रिकवर आफ्टर द शॉर्ट सो दैट्स वैन आई हैव टू डू अनदर इंटेंसिव वार्म अप राइट बिफोर द हाई जम्प बिकॉज I've taken a three, four hour break, and my body's, you know, cooled down. So the niggles or stiffness or these all these things are coming. So I have to make sure that in that break, you don't really rest in a decathlon for two days. Bowling is there, but in in the middle of those, you know, uh, after the morning session, you go to the hotel room, flush out, do any massage, whatever, to clean up, replenish liquids because you've lost a lot of liquids. खाना अच्छे से खाना सो दोज आर ऑल कार्ब रिच खाना खाना सो दोज आर ऑल थिंग्स दट वी डू बिटवीन इवेंट्स कमिंग बैक टू द हाई जम्प टू मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव अ थर वार्म अप डू योर ड्रिल्स दैट सर्ट ऑफ थिंग क्योंकि अब बॉडी ठंडी हो गई इवन दो द वेदर टेम्परेचर इज हॉट यू वॉन्ट मेक श्योर दैट यू डू थिंग्स टू कीप द बॉडी का कोर टेम्परेचर अप गोइंग बैक टू द अदर सिनारियो जैसे यू एस में था यू स्टार्ट शॉर्ट पट खत्म करते आधे घंटे में हाई जम्प पे वहाँ पे what's most important for me someone like me is i'm going to have plenty of time before my turn to jump comes because average decathletes are jumping anywhere from 190 to 2 meters ke beech mein that's i don't even start at that height so i need to make sure ki main jab start karunga uske beech mein aur jo mere ko itna aadhe paune ghante ka rest mila hai usme main apne warm up ko kaise maximize karu ki main zyada warm up pehle na kar lu ya fir baad mein na karu because sitting around for anybody is going to make you tight and sore especially more so if you've done three events in the morning so that's where the strategy for me comes into the picture ki kisi ne dekha hoga jaise ki interstate mein my starting height in the high jump was 199 i've never started at at 199 but then there's more like a safety mechanism ki yaar 199 mein ek do jump leke dekho kaise wo ho raha hai and then you know as you go up you can pass heights always so that was the whole plan for the high jump and that's where especially in the high jump is where i always get cramps so usko thoda manage karke dekhna ki kaise main cramp na ho so those are all just things that go in the mind before even the start of the event and once the event starts it's just a normal game high jump mein aapko jaise bhi upar niche pass karna hai aap kar sakte ho decathlon mein sirf 3 3 cm ke increment pe chalta hai high jump ka bhi bar so you have to know when to pass when to not pass and then i think that's how the high jump goes for me